Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> That's wrong. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. All right. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Sure. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Daxter in the past. And sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang made one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. 
but that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nug. Eh? Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. But I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Still around. Still a wiggle. If you look out, I know you wanna just give me that your child. I'm gonna hit it like Sam so I'm gonna wanna lick it like Kenny on a blow pop. Straight to biz, eh, Mano? All right, all right, all right. She's a gang like any other, right? Dick the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Ah, there you are. Go on, let them know we're here. Wanna to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants though. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Just me and us, Holmes. Shit. They expecting a whole Militech platoon? Got a bad feeling creeping up my spine, Jack. Oh, well, these guys are a bit more than just naughty boys. More minds? Seriously.
their turf. So what do you want? You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet.
out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way.
Under heavy fire! Ball. Stay with me! Got him! Get out of here. No begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. to argue yeah because I'm right always nice of you to notice ah I love this town the city of heaven but if you got the cohort unless you catch a bullet, stray or not even then you go out with a bang right and the street will talk the street will remember What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. Do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. Ducked in time to avoid death's sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate. Even though we get to do that lots. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits at you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Did it without Melitech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. 
brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> that meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Mark will be waiting for you at Liz's bar. Good luck. Before our time, that. With proper burials, you still a thing. And who might you clowns be? We're friends of Dexter Deshaun. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Rockers of Kane's house. Shit. Jordan Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, hey. maybe even Morgan Black. Let's see if you begin a sec. Fell asleep on that same bar. Looks like we're up. You see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. To hit in the major leagues. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Steep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's got to go sometime, right? Why not in style? Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice. Ginger beer. Oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Dex a regular. You come here a lot. A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. The Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. How do you know? My job to know. Look around. How do you think perks are in their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Bad time to choke and shoot your bridges, Joel. Come on. Break a leg. Thanks. How do you know? My job to know. This way. Look around. How do you think perks are in their reps? You gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Oh, man. Who holds the keys? I sold the seeds. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right. The 
Excelsior. Cold hard eddies as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead? Let's see this bad boy. Go on now, don't be shy. All right then, set your butts down comfy. Sweet booth, it's soundproof? Jackie. Now, now, Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target? Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Hello? Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Malabry, I want to hear it. The Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Arasaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? How do we get in the penthouse? Yarnobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? Okay, feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same, non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plane and intel? You sure you want to go down this road?
Jack's right, Dex. We ought to get more than 30. We deserve more. Fine, 35, and that's my final offer. I can live with that. It's my final offer, too. Hmm. Been a while since I got a run for my eddies. They're actually kind of fun. Last thing, kopecky has got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Gee, oh. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while we sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. Plan. What's your take? Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard? No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Something I gotta take care of first. Sin problemas. Meet you by the Delamain. Just don't forget to suit up. <laughs> 